starting something and not finishing something. And in my book, that's not okay. Yo, so he's onto something right there. Hello people, it's Glenn Laser here again. What Keith is saying in that video right there, according to me, is... If you don't finish, how do you know it wasn't worth it? Because that's the reason you didn't finish, isn't it? You see, sometimes something you want to do seems impossible and you feel like the effort you need to put in to do that is too much effort and way too big of a risk. But what if it's not? You see, the only certainty if you don't do it is that you didn't know what you could have expected. I myself am a dreamer and more than I like to admit, I didn't pull through on things that really could have mattered to me. More than once, I didn't finish what I started and somebody else did and it paid off. And that kind of hurts, you know, if you really want to do something and you say, nah, nah, I don't think it's gonna pan out. And then somebody else goes and do it and it turns out okay or better. Isn't that worse? Then try. You see, I think so. And if my dogs could talk, I'm pretty sure they would say that too. Because they're always trying to get some food off the table. See what I did there? So, what's your options? Well, in my book, there's only two. Either you go for it, you try your best, no matter the outcome. And number two is. You don't do shit and you don't see what could have been. My wife is making like weird ass cake, but it's tasty ass cake. We're having a birthday party today! 